So what's causing your sciatica pain? Today, I want to give you the five root causes of what's bringing this pain on. Be sure to stick around to the end for my solutions. Number one is going to be calcium and magnesium deficiencies. Now, the reason why they go together is because that's the way nutrition works. There's a lot of nutrients that should be in the proper ratio. And calcium and magnesium is one of them. Magnesium is typically half of what calcium is. So, for example, we like to give our people 1,200 milligrams of calcium which means they should be getting 600 milligrams of magnesium. You see, it's a ratio that makes it work together. Now, there's a lot of people out there walking around very deficient in these two nutrients. One of the reasons why is because you need so much of it. You have a lot of bones, not to mention teeth and nails, that need calcium and magnesium. Then you got to consider the muscles. There's around 600 muscles. That's a lot. Now, before you go taking these supplements, there's a few things that you need to ask yourself. Are you on drugs? If you're on medical monopoly drugs, then think twice. This is why we don't recommend medical monopoly drugs, because it hinders you from going the natural route. Number two is B vitamin deficiencies. We're talking about things like thalamine and B12. B vitamins are very important to your nervous system. When we're talking about sciatica, we're talking about a compressed nerve. So it's very possible that you are deficient in a B vitamin. Number three correlates with one and two, and that's you need proper stomach acid in order to absorb the nutrients. There's a lot of people out there walking around and their stomach acid is weak and pathetic. Your stomach is supposed to be like battery acid. You chew something, it goes down the pipe, and it lands into a bag of battery acid. Then it gets broken down and then absorbed in the small intestine. If you don't have battery acid, it's going to be difficult to absorb nutrients, not to mention you'll probably end up with some sort of acid reflux and or you're susceptible to parasites, candida, and SIBO. Number four, cholesterol deficiency. Why would cholesterol have anything to do with sciatica? Well, because all nerves have something to do with the myelin sheath. The myelin is like the rubber that goes on a wire. Just look at a wire around you right now. Perhaps it's the wire attached to your mouse that goes to your computer. That's like your nerves. And it's made up of mostly cholesterol. So if you're not getting enough cholesterol, it's, it can start deteriorating. Now, when we think of cholesterol deficiencies in myelin degeneration, we think about the brain this is where your dementia and your Parkinson's and your MS come around. But it can also happen with the sciatic nerve. And number five is arguably, probably the biggest root cause, and that's your musculoskeletal misalignment. And we call this posture, right? Because muscles bully bones. And when your muscles get all out of whack and they go in this direction and that direction and they start compensating and doing crazy things, they're going to move your bones. Your pelvis is a bone. If your pelvis gets tilted, 
frontwards or backwards, and you have a pelvic tilt, that can compress the sciatic nerve. Okay, so I just gave you the five root causes to sciatic pain. Let me know if you're experiencing any of these down in the comments. But before I get to the solution, I want to make sure you're reading my Head to Toe Healing Trilogy. Do you have these three books in your house? Okay. Solution number one is get off the poor four foods. It's obvious. And this is going to be number one for every dis-ease I tell you about. No gluten, no oils, no fried, no fake, no gluten, no oil, no fried, no fake, no gluten, no oil, no fried, no fake. I even have a song, a jingle for you so you never forget it, okay? <laughs> and you'll hear that somewhere down the line. But these are the four food groups that create dis-ease. And they don't create it overnight. It takes 20 to 25 years. If you've been eating these foods for 20 to 25 years, you're going to have symptoms, period. Number two, get on the 90 essential nutrients. This way, all your nutrition is already mixed. It's already in the perfect ratio. And all you got to do is put the powders in and make yourself a drink. It's so simple. And of course, you can get these 90 essential nutrients in my membership. And essential means your body doesn't make them. So you have to import them into your blood. Number three, get on a collagen supplement. Collagen is what makes up soft tissue and hard tissue. When we're talking about sciatic pain, we're talking about both soft and hard tissue, right? The pelvis is hard and the nerves are soft. The muscles are soft. So collagen is a really good idea. Number four, get your blood sugar under control. If you have sugar floating around your blood, guess what? It's going to create inflammation. And that sciatic nerve could be inflamed from too much sugar. I always recommend that my people stay under 300 grams of carbohydrates per day. If you have a blood sugar issue, then I recommend bringing it down even more to around 100 to 150 grams. Number five, get some strong acid back into your stomach. You can do this very simply through a high quality salt such as Celtic sea salt as an example. You can put a pinch underneath your tongue, let it absorb, then take a chug of water. You can do that four times per day and it will help populate acid back into your stomach. You also need to salt your foods, especially meat. You should never have meat that is not salted. You can also use apple cider vinegar a little bit every morning to start populating stomach acid. You don't have to do apple cider vinegar every day, but once a day for a month could be very beneficial. Number six, get some proper blood labs done so you can check your B vitamins. You're not going to know if you're low unless you check, and your medical monopoly doctor is not going to check. They might check B12, but that's about it. Don't forget, the insurance companies have them by the you-know-what, and it costs extra money to order blood labs. Number seven, get more cholesterol. Yes, eggs and beef and chicken skins and salmon and butter. Get it into your blood. Stop being scared of high cholesterol. If your triglycerides in your CRP are in normal range, then you don't have to worry about your cholesterol levels, in my opinion. And number eight, postural alignment therapy. This is how we get our musculoskeletal system back in alignment. Not by going to the chiropractor, they're just going to snap, crackle, and pop your bones. But it's muscles that move bones, right? 
So you need to do PAT and it needs to be done daily for the rest of your life. This is to your muscles what brushing and flossing is to your mouth. And of course, we have three classes per week inside of my membership. Now, if you're not ready to leave the medical monopoly and take on head-to-toe healing, I urge you to keep watching my videos and reading my books. And when you're ready, just schedule a call with my team. I'll leave you a link below. You see, we're here to empower you, teach you, and guide you. But we're looking for the right people at the right time. I wish peace and love to you and your family. And I'll talk to you soon.